What up film family? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Canon A1 Sure Shot. In this video, I'm gonna go over my quick thoughts, the quick specs on this camera, and then at the end of the video, I will go over my top photos with you guys. Quick segue guys, if you like this video at all, anything benefits you at all, please hit that like button for me, please hit that subscribe button. I have many, many more videos coming out like this. Latina be my wife You know I'm the nation of all when I ride with you If you're down with me then I'm down with you Made plans for the weekend all about you If you ride with me then you can't lose If we last long get matching tattoos Vida real mejor que el cine Waterproof submergible point and shoot camera It has simple modes, it has the off to flash mode, to flash off. So these are modes where you can either decide you always want the flash on or you never want the flash on. You also have the full auto feature. You just go down, hit auto, and then the camera will decide on whether or not to use flash and all of the above. You just half press, compose, and then shoot. So I used to believe that going underwater, you would need to stay in this mode which is showing the little fish. But then I was looking at the other Canon. I think it's the WP, which is not for waterproof, but weatherproof. When you see those, it has a flower for the same indicator. That's if you wanna do a micro shot, which is 1.5 feet to 3.5 feet. You can shoot that. You get a closer distant image that way. This has a Canon lens, 32 millimeter, 3.5 f-stop. It is a very, very sharp lens. You'll see my results. I was very impressed by how these photos came out. The last kind of feature it has is the self timer. I mean, it's self explanatory, you press this and then eventually it'll give you one, two, 10 seconds and then take the shot. I did end up using this feature on the camera with with the selfie photos that I took of Kodak and I. But that is pretty much it on features with this camera. Say cheese. Me, 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 me. Can you see us? Wait. Okay, go. Go, go. Look at us. Me, yeah. Dominicanas, mis latinas, me aman. Las quiero todas, todititas, por igual. be my wife. You know, Growing up, I used to always find my mom's uh, film cameras and take random photos. They were Canon Sure Shots, probably like the Canon Sure Shot M, which I believe has the exact same lens on that. If you like everything else on this camera except for the size of it, then the Canon SureShot M is something you should definitely look into. When I got into film photography, I was trying to find that point and shoot camera that my mom would shoot with us, so I ended up buying this at a thrift store. Not this exact one, I ended up finding another one at a thrift store like this, but the original one that I had, it broke, so I gave up on that, and then I got lucky enough to go to the thrift store again, and then find a Canon Sure Shot. The original one that I found, I ended up gifting to my brother. The viewfinder on these is amazing, which is another thing that I really like about this camera, is the viewfinder is huge on this. You can easily look at the, the viewfinder and see if you're gonna get your shot. I also really like that they have the light indicator in the viewfinder. Most cameras have it on the outside so you can barely see it, but this is really clear to see it's locking onto your exposure or focus. 
Ella viva, viva, viva. Boricuas cubanas, dominicanas, mexicanas, ¿dónde están? Colombianas, mis latinas me aman. Las quiero todas, todititas por igual. Norte de su no encontré a alguien como tú. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I wanna party with you. Tú eres dulce como tira mi su. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me traje mi mano y mi go. Llámale a dos amigas. No le pidas permiso. Será mejor. This was a very fun camera to give to my nieces and have them take pictures. You know, it's a big viewfinder. They can see what's going on. Easy concept. Big red button. And they shot and the photos came out decent, which is kind of like that whole thing. What I was talking about earlier, it's all about like capturing those family moments. This does it really well. That's why I'm a big fan of this boy because it does it very well. This camera lens ends up being sh better and sharper than the Canon Owl SureShot, which used to be my favorite point and shoot. And this is kind of taking that place at, at the moment. So kudos to the design team. <laughs> So I ended up taking this a lot of places with me, dinner with family or going out. When I was taking pictures, no one really ever minded me because they just thought I was shooting with some funny looking camera, didn't really care. You know, back to track to what I was saying is that it's fun to take family photos with this camera, but I was very surprised of how well the landscape photos came out. They were very sharp, which I get. They probably did that. Like this is a great camera to, to use on the street or for family photos because they spent a lot of time making a great camera so that you can go underwater, get some sharp photos. And I think it, you know, when you're in the water, it's, it's gonna use a larger f-stop. So when you're taking a landscape photo, it's using those larger f-stops, giving you great results. So kudos again to the design team for that. Me conoce, visita en la noche, botella de roce, oh yeah. Rumbo para allá, rumbo para el mar, aquí quiere estar, oh yeah. Tengo lo que ella necesita, emojis, besos, caritas. Mujer, yo quiero tu amor, tu amor fue hecho solo para mí. Sígueme, vente para acá, si soy loco no más por ti. Dime que me quieres encima. Dime que me quieres ahorita, sígueme, vente para acá, ella conmigo se excita, el cuerpo es para mí, yo enamorado con ella, no me rompas mi corazón, su cuerpo de botella, noche te divertiste tú, mi cuarto huele como tú, cosas nuevas me enseña, su cuerpo de botella. So my first top photo is of this mountain landscape here. I mean, overall, this the sky and the colors in the sky, the whites to the dark shadows. I wish that the shadows were a little bit darker and you know, you can edit it in post-production, but just kind of giving you the raw scan from the lab. But the colors are spot on, I think, for, for what I saw that day. I always love mountains and uh, sunsets. I love seeing the different shades of the mountain. It gives you a better depth of how far everything is. So this photo here is also around 
on that hike that I took with my dog. I don't know, I just feel like this photo came out really well and I feel like it's something that you would definitely see like on a postcard. So maybe I'll start making postcards. Tell me if you agree or disagree. I just really liked the sky obviously and then that little random water tower, the greens and the grass there. This is another one that of that same hike, the trail, and then I saw the sun setting. Kodak looked back and I snapped it of him. It looks very sharp from here, but when I zoom in to Kodak, it actually loses a lot of quality, which kind of made me upset, but it is a really nice overall theme. Something I could definitely see on my iPhone screen. It's just a cute picture. I, I highlighted this photo because this is a photo of my brother and I, which is kind of funny. I mean, it's, it's kind of similar to this. Not exact on, but similar to this, which is great because it's a photo that my niece his daughter took of us. It's a great moment that she captured of us on this camera. She did a great job. I mean, it took her a couple of tries. It was fun just to give them this. This is what my brother and I talk about all the time, that these are the things that my mom used to capture us growing up with. To pass this on to them is, is very special uh, to say the least. I actually really like this photo because of the Christmas trees. I'm always obsessed with Christmas trees. I just like the way they look, you know, the whole concept of the, us putting them in our homes. This was around December, in the beginning of December when I took this. I actually waited for the cyclist to come by and then I snapped that photo. But I did that video from afar knowing that I was going to take this picture. You know, the whole layers thing for me. Got the window in there on purposely. I wanted the tree more in the middle. And then I left that space for that cyclist to come by. And then I snapped it. I snapped it a little bit too early. Captured this photo of this couple here. I made sure that they were right there in that rule of third spot for me. The scenic route. I made sure that there was nothing else kind of in the way that would distract you from them. Them having their moment of just having a conversation and that beautiful view there. I ended up getting to this and I saw this uh, father-daughter combo here. I'm looking out the tree kind of framing them in. I wanted to make sure that the bridge it was also again there. It's funny because the mother saw me getting closer and I was going to take this photo and she saw the moment and she you could see her grabbing her phone to capture the moment as well. After this photo she quickly was yelling at her husband not to move. Hopefully her photo came out great. I really like this photo. Very family oriented photo. Really nice. This photo again is at the beach by the Golden Gate Bridge. I wanted to get myself in this photo, but obviously couldn't. So I ended up snapping Kodak and then I made sure that my, I got our shadows in there. And it's just a cute photo. I really like how lit up he is and very sharp photo. You can really see his coat, like all the different strains in, in his coat. I feel like if I was trying to do a, a portrait with this camera, they would come out pretty decent. Kind of in that Yashica T4 range. Of my new truck, I just bought a Ford Maverick. Congrats to me, yay. The photo that I really like is, is of the front there and then I kind of involved the trees and that building there. I feel like that came out really well. These are the cameras that our iPhones kind of uh, took. From. So this is the consumer, just you want to snap something, freeze it in time, be able to recall back to that. Uh, I definitely wanted to capture it on film to see how it would come out. It came out very contrasty. It was raining a few hours before and it ended up raining right after I left this location. That's what the rain does. It gives you a lot more beautiful colors and contrast. But I also included the not so pleasant photo of the Ford Maverick, just kind of wider shot. So my last top favorite photo uh, is the, it ended up being one of these selfies that I took with the timer. I set the timer, put it on a little pillar there, ran back with Kodak into the area where I knew we'd be in frame and then walked back and took this photo. Um, I feel like I, I come out pretty hard. I feel like this is a kind of like album cover, movie cover scene right here. The lines of the bridge guide you towards me. I got the Yeezys on, look like boots in that. It gives a good mood. 
an aggressive, nice mood that I like. I'll probably be posting this on my personal page as well. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. There's much, much more coming like this. And if you have any suggestions, questions, comment down below. And as always, guys, happy shooting.